a fond farewell for this lady of the sea. HMAS Darwin has journeyed more than a million nautical miles, serving her country over three decades across the Indian Ocean, Asia and Pacific region. She's also been home to more than 5,000 men and women, many of whom gathered at Garden Island to see the Australian white ensign lowered and returned for safekeeping until the next ship named Darwin. One of the things that uh, Darwin has is always a very uh, close-knit crew. It has gone right back to the first crew in 1984, so it's really sort of a family breaking up. For former operations <laughs> officer Steve Hamilton, Darwin wasn't just a ship he served on, but also where he married his wife Sue shortly after it was commissioned. I got married to a POM by a US Coast Guard chaplain with a King County Seattle marriage licence and we're still together after 32 years. The wedding was the first of many celebrations on board and victories too. Darwin was awarded battle honours three times for operations in East Timor, the Persian Gulf and Iraq and last year seized $800 million worth of heroin off the coast of Africa. From today, Darwin is no longer with the Navy, but where she'll journey to from here is yet to be decided. The government is considering whether to sell her, possibly to another country, or scuttle her as a dive wreck to create an underwater attraction. I'll remember her with fondness forever. I would think she was our girl and we bought her home and, and now she's um, going to bed. And with that, one final Bravo Zulu to HMAS Darwin. Kate Creedon, Nine News.